To save a document in Microsoft Word, you would select File and then select Save. Notice that the default file location would be in the Documents folder. This can be changed by navigating wherever you would like to save the file. You could click More Options and then you could scroll to the location that you want to save the file. Maybe I want to go to my desktop and go inside of the CL101 folder, inside of the Word folder, and I could save a file inside of here by giving it a file name and then clicking Save or pressing Enter. Once a file is saved, any changes made to that file can be saved by clicking the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar. The changes that you make throughout your document will automatically overwrite the original version of the document. It will be stored in the original file location with the original file name. Once you have selected the file location and given the document a name, you cannot change that name using the Save feature. However, you do have the Save As feature that does allow you the option to determine a new file location with a new file name. For example, as an instructor, I regularly update my assignment directions, and when I do, I typically update the file name to include the quarter and the year that the edit was made. You do have to be careful with this feature because you don't want to have multiple copies of the same document scattered across various locations on your computer, and I've seen that happen quite a bit. So be careful with this one. If you like the result of the new file and you no longer need the old file, you can go back and delete that one. This is why file management is very helpful when you use computers on a regular basis. If you need help with file management, I do have an entire video series on how to manage your files. Another reason that some people use the Save As feature is they want to make a backup of the file on, let's say, a portable hard drive or a flash drive so that they can take it somewhere else. I know for me, one of the biggest reasons that I use the Save As feature is to make sure that when I'm editing something, I have that original file just in case I mess up. That way I can go back to the original file if needed and begin again. So hopefully that helps you understand the difference between save and save as.